Hello, I wanted to make a brief video for you on how you can upload your images to your personal Flickr account. So that'll be the first step. And then how you can share your pic images with the class group. So first things first, let's uh, upload our images. Now you need to log into Flickr first and access your personal Flickr account and that's where I'm at. You see a bunch of uh, portraits that I've taken over the years. So what I want to do is I want to upload my stuff to Flickr and there's a couple different interfaces in Flickr. I'm going to show you this default interface. If you look over on the far right you can see a cloud with an arrow pointing up for upload. I'm going to click on that. Okay so the way it works is um, you can click and drag if you have images just drag them onto here and graphically drag and drop to upload or if you prefer you can click on this icon and then select the directory. Uh, maybe I'll just take these images. That's a, a nice fast way to upload a bunch of images. And uh, you'll see here I've got a bunch of images. Um, I'm going to just try and click to upload all of them. And there's quite a few in here. The most I've ever done at one time is about 200. So it can accommodate quite a big number of photos. Most of the intro classes have to upload around 75 to the personal account so it should very easily be able to deal with that. So I'm going to select those and click choose and you'll see it starts to populate the fields here with all the photos. Now it's just getting it ready for upload. This isn't the actual upload. It's not quite that fast. Um, but it's showing me all the images that I'm adding to it and allowing me to specify uh, names so I can come in here and change for instance this one the student's name was Nate maybe I'll put the name Nate in here and delete some of these numbers I can add descriptions to each of these and then um, you can change them you can delete it so if you figure oh I no longer want to put this photo up we can click and you can remove it from the queue to be uploaded so once you've decided which photos you want to upload, you can go ahead and click on the upload button. So at this point, it's it's 41 photos I'm going to upload. I don't want to flood my um, my user box for uh, Flickr. So I'm going to take a quick break here, just pick a few to upload, and then you'll see me upload those in just a minute. Okay, so I've narrowed it down to just a, a few. I wanted to show you how you could upload up to 75 at once. And so I've got these. I can change the names if I wanted to. I can add the descriptions. I'm going to go ahead and just click on the upload five photos here. And it will upload those five photos to my individual Flickr account. It's going to tell you a brief summary of what it's going to do. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm done changing names and everything. I just want to go ahead and upload it. And it will upload it. Now, if you have a big number, you might take a break right now and go and grab a soda or something. But I had a very small number, so it didn't take a long time to upload. I can see those images are now in here, so I can click on an image and give it a title or change it here as well. So I didn't change this one for whatever reason when I was uploading. I'm going to change it here. I happen to know this is a... art piece that's made by a particular artist. And uh, it's, it's all set. Now, classmates can come and provide commentary or critique right here on the piece. We can do critique with other images. We can do critique. We can put links inside here if I want to say, you know, maybe you should use this type of reflector. And I can grab a page that has a picture of that reflector and put a link inside here. Make sure that if I want to use this as one of my five picks, I'm going to have to... Uh, add it to the group. So the way you do that, the way you add this to the group so that all our classmates in the group can see it, is I go down, scroll down inside this area where the photo is, and I'm going to click on Add to Group. Add to Group. So I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm going to add it to our 107 class group. You see a little chick check mark will appear across from it. And I can click Done, and now everybody in the 107 class group can see that photo. There's tags you can add as well. If you want to add tags to your photos, it's a good idea. So I can add a tag on here. Um, I can say Fine Art. This is a fine art piece. Uh, and it only does one word, by the way. So if you want to do two words, actually, you have to do something like this. Fine underscore art. Um, craft poly clay. Okay, so there's our tags. This makes it easy if this is a, a uh, public photo for people that want to find this photo on the internet to go ahead and search for it. So they can type in a search phrase like polyclay and we'll see all the different polyclay pieces that will pop up as long as I've set these privacy settings to public. I think Flickr is a wonderful way for you guys to share your photos with the world. You can get involved in groups. I'll show you real quick the groups that I'm in. I'm in a ton of different uh, groups here. You'll see ones that are related to Gateway, but then you'll see a bunch of external ones uh, for some of my interests, strobist shooting, DIY uh, homemade equipment for students, um, different types of camera that I really am fans of, all that stuff you can you can see. I can join groups and I can learn a lot more about it. So I hope that you are using your flickers. I hope that uh, you are active and vibrant in critiquing and a part of this culture. And I hope that you find it overall a helpful resource. And just to kind of finish up here, I'm going to take a look at the 107 class group. We'll click on the class group for that. And I will look at the photo pool and you'll see, oh yeah, it did in fact add uh, my piece to the class group. So that's kind of nice.